Okay. Hello, everybody. It's uh, September 24th. It's uh, 14 o'clock ish. Um, and we're going to start the meeting. Um, I'll just say hi from Pixelbar here. Um, the meeting today, the person that will walk through and moderate the meeting will be Rolf today, the guy in the white shirt over there. And I will give you some of the more specific pixel bar related things. As most of you have already seen, there is uh, drinks and chips and other stuff over there. Um, and we filled up our fridge to, to the top with Club Marta, so to be able to serve your cold Club Marta here today. Um, the toilets are behind you. Uh, some people didn't realize that this wood construction thingy over there is actually the toilets. That's that thing over there. Um, we will have a walk around through the Kalavev again later after the meeting. And for those who don't escape exactly directly immediately after the meeting, we actually plan to uh, raid the Albert Hein and make a barbecue. We have a grill and a deep fryer here and we actually plan to use them. Details, what we're going to use with them, what we're going to make is will be happening after the meeting. Any questions for the pixel bar and general related thingies here? Good. Then it's nice to see you all. Um, we actually plan to use the workshop area over there, which is a bit bigger, but uh, it was given away twice. So we last minute decided to move this all within this space itself. Um, the sound in here is not necessarily super awesome. So it will require some discipline um, um, to actually keep this in a way that we can ex uh, understand each other. So please, if somebody is explaining something, if we're doing something, um, try to shut up. Unless uh, it's later your term to say something. If you want to say something, raise your hand. Um, we will make it this way that you will give a question and we'll repeat them. Okay, and that's uh, for you who haven't possibly seen it. That is Rolf van der Hohl. And he will do the... going to the moderation of the uh, meeting. Okay, um, I prepared a small program which was also on the on the wiki. So uh, some of you have already seen this, uh, and since it's a quarter after two, we start with the Teams update. Um, let me start with. Let me see which team is first on the wiki. The batch team. Someone from the batch team available. There you are. <coughs> Keep it under two minutes. Sure. For those of you who weren't at the field day, I'm Kartoffel, the lead for the batch project. Um, the current status is that we're actually just getting ready to order the first actual PCB with uh, most of the components on it, an ESP32, uh, e-paper display, and some input and output. Um, one of the most important things, which we still need help with, is some people who are, have experience with uh, embedded programming uh, to help us uh, well, basically write an interpreter for Lua or MicroPython on the uh, the new ESP32. So if anybody has experience, wants to help us, or knows someone who can help us, please, uh, well, try to get them in contact with me. Um, if you want to see some of the prototypes that we have, I think there should be someone here, Pila, if yeah. he's here. Ah. Yeah, he uh, has uh, one of the prototypes with the e-paper display, so if you want to see that, uh, come find me or Peter after this. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you can... Yeah. Okay. The next team on the list is the bar teams. Anybody from the bar team around here? Nobody? Let me just skip it. Next, uh, build-up management. Okay, so there is someone else coming who knows more. Okay, then we skip it for now, and uh, hopefully you'll be there before the end of this list. Team communications. Anybody? There you are. Come to the front, please. No, uh, please come to the front. We have a microphone here. <laughs> you are. 
Uh, hello everyone, um, I'm from Team Communication. Uh, I was expecting uh, uh, HQMO here to do something to talk. Um, so I didn't prepare anything, so I have, don't have anything to mention. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, find me afterwards. So. What's your uh, what's your current status and uh, what are um, you currently working uh, we, on? We are preparing uh, to see what we have to uh, do for the communication itself. So there is uh, some list and we have to okay, check Okay, so still, still in planning phase. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Um, team content. Anybody? Uh, so, uh, team content. Uh, we have uh, call for participation already online since uh, 3 September. And we have already six submissions. The team is closed for volunteers. We had uh, too, too many volunteers and people that didn't do anything on the, on the mail list. We clean up the uh, mail list and close the teams. We have sev uh, 14 participants and the lead is, uh, we have a three person lead group. And uh, for uh, about team content, uh, we are broadcasting this uh, uh, call for participation ourselves, but we need to uh, team communication to also to, to help us. And um, I think as a uh, 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 status is uh, this or thank you very much. Uh, the next team on the list in the wiki is Team Decoration. I've seen people from Team Decoration, so... Ah, there she comes. Thank you. Uh, well, we're the Decoration team. We uh, are already having regular meetings. We can definitely use more people. We have restructured our team, which now consists of two sub-teams. Uh, one mainly for things like signs and the gate, and the other mainly for things with LEDs. And we are planning some really nice objects on the, on the, uh, the terrain. So we're planning things like an entrance gate, signs, uh, light objects. We're thinking of things like a really, really big LED cube, really, really big neon clock, some awesome stuff. Also, we have just heard that we're going to have an awesome factory to make things on the terrain. We're going to work together with Belgians who call themselves the Flying Circus. <laughs> and it's going to be very, very good. Yeah, there's going to be a presentation about this later on. Okay. Also, we are still welcoming more volunteers, mostly, well, of, of either type, LED type and woodworking type, all welcome. But apart from that, we mostly, mostly are waiting for a design to work with. So that's it for team decoration, I think. Sorry. Thank you very much. Um, the next team on the list is Family Village. From the Family Village available who has something to tell us about the status. Nobody? Okay. We, we assume that uh, it indeed exists and it's doing something, but uh, we don't know what. Um, Next would be Team Finance. Anybody from Team Finance here? Nobody. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I know that Team Finance is currently asking from all the teams to submit a budget, uh, at least some general indication about how much money you're going to need and what you're planning to do with it. Um, that will be part of the team assignment, which is... Uh, part of today's program, so uh, we will cover that later today. Uh, next would be food court, food court and vendors. Anybody? So I already suspected that. Info desk. I've, I've seen people from the info desk. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Luigi. I'm with Infodesk. Uh, a few of us are here as well. Uh, you can see our progress on the walls because we uh, brought some excellent uh, uh, little information posters. Uh, the current status is um, we have enough people uh, for now to uh, do the first work. We're on, on progress with uh, mainly what was our planning, uh, making sure we have an FAQ. That's also a call to you. Uh, please, uh, all teams, we will send you an email about uh, uh, filling the uh, FAQ with your actual uh, expected questions and the answers to them. Um, and we will help organize and make one big mess of it. Uh, furthermore, we're working on setting up RT uh, to uh, uh, make sure that questions that are coming in right now can be answered by us or forwarded to the teams. Uh, and we're looking for social media uh, uh, software to help us handle uh, comments that are coming from social media. Uh, we gather that the communications team is responsible for broadcasting messages out of, uh, out of the organization, but messages coming into the organization we would like to handle uh, as good as possible. So uh, that's basically our status. <coughs> Thank you very much. The next team on the list is Team Infrastructure. Anybody from Team Infrastructure who wants to share something about the status? <coughs> Nobody? Okay, uh, let's move on then to Team Logistics. Anybody? Yeah, great. <coughs> You're bringing your laptop, is that for notes or also for a presentation? <laughs> No, it's just for notes. Um, so since the last time, the field day, um, we lost a sub-team. Shuttles is now gone. It's no longer part of logistics. I don't know where it went, but um, that's for other people to find out. And we gained a new sub-team, which is the radio operation center, the ROC, which is doing the uh, mobile communications on site. So uh, thank you for the people who joined us there. Um, and as the last time, we're still looking for someone to organize um, transportation off-site, so things to and from the field. So if you know somebody who is really good at organizing stuff like that, who knows how cars work and stuff, um, make sure they contact us, please. Um, other than that, we're doing uh, quite fine. So. Okay, thank you very much. The next team would be Team Lounge. Anybody? Here. Nobody here. Nobody. Okay, Do, have you got any updates? Sorry, the tra his train is delayed, so uh, he's not coming, and there's uh, no need. Okay, might be coming late. Um, <laughs> next team, so. Uh, that would be, I think, one, two, Team Maps. Anybody from Team Maps who can share something? Nothing at all. Okay, then we move on to the next, Knock. Anybody, Knock. There we go. Yeah, small update uh, from Team NOC. Uh, we already have a very experienced team. We did the CCC camp in 2015, and we participated in the EMF camp uh, this year. Uh, we're currently looking at the, uh, the uplink on the field. Now the field is now, uh, we're looking at Eurofiber that already has fiber on the field. Uh, we're also working with uh, Event Infra, that which is an upgrade to the uh, EMF camp with all the access switches and stuff. Um, the field actually is very, very uh, nice for us because there's already three buildings uh, with interconnected with fiber and about 13 smaller field cabinets that are connected to the 
three big pops also with lots of fiber. So uh, yeah, we're starting the design in January of the actual network. Thank you very much. The next team on the list is team POC. So, uh, I'm Simon, I'm from the Entropia POC. Um, the POC will consist of th three, uh, currently two sub-teams because um, one will do decked telephony around the site. Uh, we will have uh, probably field telephony and there will be normal landlines. Uh, but uh, the, there was a status update by Shadytel which was doing the uh, normal landlines that they are probably near are not going to be able to come. Uh, so they, we are like two teams now. Uh, on our team, the, the DECT network team, we did our plannings with the DECT network. We need uh, we did our cabling plans and stuff. Um, yes, um, there will be uh, uh, an email for you uh, about what DECT handsets you will need to use our network. Um, and on the size of the team, we are basically uh, complete. Um, we will just need like angels to help register the deck on, on site. So, yes. Thank you very much. The next team on the list is not of that order. Uh, permits. Team Permits. Nobody from Team. Ah! Team Permit? <laughs> Huh. Oh, uh, I, I see, I see, see some. Okay, so uh, we're also currently working on the permit. Uh, on the 3rd of October, we have a meeting with Gemeente Seewolde, and we're going to discuss with police, fire, ambulance, and stuff uh, what uh, the rules and regulations will be from. Uh, the city council for our event and if anybody has any questions that we need to ask uh, to the city council which you feel are absolutely vital please uh, talk to me after preparing the preparing the questions for the permits discussion so, um, we will uh, get back to that Team Power. Team was not here. Team, no. Okay. Here, but, um, no updates? I have no updates, and I'm a little bit uh, yeah, scared by that because uh, I cannot contact uh, them by uh, mailing list or um, IRC because we don't have any, and I don't have the personal mailing list. Okay. Uh, so For Team Power, Timo has been on the site last week with somebody from Scouting and uh, and Attila, who is also not here. He has his dojo today. Um, we can use parts of the power installation, but we will need more than just the stuff that these scouts have installed. That's especially for the areas where the content teams will be standing and stuff like that. The next team on the list is Team Produxy House. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, the Produxy House, uh, we're streaming a thing again today. Um, we're recording it, we're archiving it, whatever. Um, we need to get our act together for the budget because we'll probably be one of the larger users of a budget. Um, we need to rent quite a lot of cameras and all the other uh, infrastructure like that. Um, and we could use uh, 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 more volunteers, but that's p probably almost everybody. Um, yeah, and I don't have any other updates. So, hi. 
So one of the things is that uh, I've been, uh, so in private life, I've been uh, missing in action on production house work. So that's uh, some of the things that uh, basically <laughs> boils down to me. But the stuff that does happen is that we have a templated uh, view of how the tents technically should be equipped. So we have equipment lists who are quite complete for the bigger tents, medium-sized tents, smaller tents. Uh, the radio uh, uh, installation, there's a, uh, the, there's a template for radio shacks uh, uh, b uh, continuously. So we, if you want, we can actually copy it and make two radio studios if you want, but uh, th that's not obviously the intent. Uh, that is also something that, uh, that happens. So uh, because of the amount of details and because of the amount of stuff that we either can rent or can uh, loan from the C3 VOC guys, uh, we can make a rough budget, I think. Uh, but the most important detail that I really want to give to the other teams is that we are going to be reliant on logistics, on tents, on movement, on uh, uh, actually having uh, the, uh, the decoration going on, of which that has a dependency on the logos and so on. So there's quite some stuff that we need to do, and we have roughly until December to figure out everything in detail, because otherwise we will be late for the ordering and renting. Okay. I don't think we have any. Uh, uh, we can change that. Uh, the next team on the list would be Vic Life. Not here at the moment, so. Stitch is here. St Stitch! That's not sti <laughs> Stitch. <laughs> Welcome. Can you say something about the states of uh, Project Lady? No? Okay, I will, I will just cover that. Uh, he has called sick, so we should uh, assume he's not here. Um, <laughs> it's tons of work at the moment that we have to do, mostly coordination work. Uh, mostly coordination work. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think uh, I don't want to get into all of those small details it's mostly detailed things that we do big topics that we have at the moment is the finance getting a budget plan and uh, yeah arranging all of the meetings uh, talking to a gazillion people uh, I think that oh we're traveling through Germany and uh, Belgium and England uh, introducing the idea of Shah giving talks about that this uh, Dutch hacker camp is happening giving update about the status of the organization trying to get um, things like the permission pushing the permission pushing the finance plan and all of those things Forgive us if we don't communicate 100% the correct way in all the tasks. Okay. Uh, I've seen someone walking from Beer Island. Am I correct? Yes. Red Lizard. Welcome. Yeah. You want to hear? No, we have not built it up already. Um, Status updates. Um, mostly we've been coordinating with uh, project lighting or sanity or whatever it's called these days about how much time we're going to need for the build up in the teardown and how much slack there is in the
about four days, all the way th with stretching all the way to possibly eight or nine days. Because it turns out that there's a weekend um, in the middle of the build-up at a very inconvenient time where paying for suppliers to deliver things like tents is very expensive. So that is uh, a complication that we're trying to plan around. And the same thing happens for Tehran. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I think we're mostly staffed. We've mostly enough people, so... Good. Now you're at it. Maps? Um, maps. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to... Uh, to get res relevant data out of the scouting, which has not been hard, not been easy. Um, they have a lot of data, and it has, they have a very little metadata about how old the data is. Is it recent? Was it just a plan that never happened? We found wonderful data about um, the power lines on the terrain, which uh, SA007 assured me can't possibly be right. So. <laughs> <laughs> given with what he has ex uh, inspected on the terrain. So uh, trying to collect all that into something which we can sort of rely on to be actually true has been a challenge, but we're working on it. Good. Yes. Uh, do you think teardown and uh, build-up uh, times are functional, working, uh, proper? Can we deal with this four days build-up? Please repeat the question. Repeat the question first. Um, so the question is whether um, the current plans that we may have to work with are uh, workable, whether they, we can make that work, the four days that we are given. Um, my guess so far is that if we have f only four days in total for build-up, that will not be sufficient. Four days of build-up might be, su may be sufficient for the amount of time that we as an organization, uh, that a large amount of uh, volunteers on the terrain. Serious infrastructure before we get to that point, so there's a long total uh, amount of time. But it appears that the scouting is probably quite willing to extend the time in, we can, in which we can deliver things like tents, assuming that there are not too many people on the terrain for that period, which is something we can totally work with. So that will probably work. Either way. Yeah, the reason why I ask is because the amount of stuff that goes into the production house setup we will probably need two to three days build up. Yes, I know. This which is uh, exactly what I meant. Because yeah, you'll need a tent to be there uh, before you can do any production house work. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next team, or actually project on the list, would be Safe Harbor. Ah, there you are. Yeah, hello, on the behalf of the Safe Harbor Authority. Um, <laughs> of course, we are here for a reason. Um, our plan is to uh, build a real harbor. Um, we have already a docking place um, just outside of the terrain uh, that we are allowed to use. That with at least 80 meters uh, to have uh, boats docking there, building a real harbor and all the facilities that we need to have it there. We need also a relatively uh, large flipper um, that also has room to collect all the uh, other stuff. Um, so you don't need, if you don't want to, to sleep in a tent, you can also sleep on a boat, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's the first hacker event ever that um, would have people boating in and imagine what you could do uh, well in the Netherlands at least um, <laughs> <laughs> and just imagine what you can uh, with, uh, can do uh, how you can make this an eye candy when there are beautiful ships in also um, for infrastructure, this would be really, really handy because we also can set up a connection to the other side of the water um, where there's a lot of parking place available. 
um, for instance. So um, it offers a lot of opportunities. We already have a 30-page plan with all risks and mitigation strategies, etc. Um, and also we are planning to do fun stuff like um, uh, lectures, but also like um, hiring uh, canoes that uh, children or people, um, you know, can, can have a little bit of fun on the water. So um, make this a, a whole big thing. We need a lot of help though. And um, one of the things that we um, really need are uh, people who want to program, uh, for instance, uh, AIS uh, receiving equipment so that we can f uh, track ships that are coming in, um, for instance, um, who program VHF radio um, or help us with the software to uh, make a docking plan because docking ships is really playing Tetris with ships. Um, that's a thingy. Um, also, we need a lot of volunteers who are willing uh, during the days to help out um, to make uh, all operations go smooth. In return, you will get um, a lot of education. You will uh, get a first aid license, VF VHF radio license, and also learn how um, about traffic rules, and you will get a uh, coastal uh, license um, for operating larger boats in the Netherlands and internationally. So uh, it also offers a lot in return. Um, so please find me if, um, uh, if you think you can help or you want to help or you think this is a fun project. Uh, also, uh, we need a lot of help from the teams to make this um, ultimately possible. For instance, you need power, you need water, you need... Um, uh, networking, etc., and um, running a 150 meter uh, pier is is kind of a thingy. So, please help. And this is uh, currently where we are. We ha didn't have anything last time we were at camp. Uh, in the meantime, I've been already uh, back with the boat and um, even um, um, worked on maps so that we know the depth. And as long as your ship is not has doesn't have a draught of more than one meter, you can dock. And that are also very, very large ships. You, meant, you said one of them that won't dock. Did you say one eight or eight zero? Eight. Uh, okay. You uh, you were asking about the 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 size of uh, the dock. Um, we want to increase to seventy five meters um, with uh, approximately eighty meters, depending, of course, also eight on the zero. eight zero. Yes. That is correct with the Charlie. Um, eight uh, zero meters, but um, basically as much as we want to and is of course allowed. So that's basically the, b the most important thing. Um, yeah, I think that's just about it. Is this something that needs to be taken up with uh, permits? Uh, yes, it's definitely something that has to be taken up with permits. This is why I already have a 30 page documents on <laughs> risk and mitigation strategies. Um, uh, but uh, yes, I have been talking to uh, team safety or security or whatever we should call it now um, about this a lot and uh, been in communicando a lot. So and the scouting has been helping out a lot as well. Thank you very much. The next team on the list is team safety and security. That's apparently what it's called, uh, <laughs> according to the wiki. Okay, nobody from safety and security. Uh, Sysadmin, anybody? There we go. Uh, hi, um, we, have we haven't got really updates uh, for you. Uh, we just continue to support your requests and make that happen. Uh, the team is full. We have uh, we, are, we have six people actively on the team. And, um, well, yeah, nothing changed much. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's one request. So uh, because uh, the group is getting larger, we get more support uh, requests. Uh, Please send them via email and don't post them in the IRC channel. We miss it, um, uh, and we can keep a track record of the the, the, uh, the requests which we uh, we have in progress. So, that uh, sorry, what? Uh, Sys at min at sha twenty seventeen dot org. You can find it on the wiki.
Uh, dus um, de vraag is of we een meeting met uh, 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 team content en team sysadmin over FRAP Yes, we can uh, after this meeting. Then find us. Thank you. No other questions? All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, the next on the list is teardown management, but we already covered that, I think. Uh, the next, n then the next on the list would be tickets and entrance. No, no news. Okay. Okay. Um, the CCC team that does the ticket software and also has the cash register and all of that would offer to kind of do that for us. Um, as we don't have a team at the moment, I tend to go with that offer and let them just handle that and pay us in the end, which also might result in a very nice small detail for us because that would mean that we don't save any data at all. And you're all aware how anal the CCC is about deleting data that is not needed anymore. There was a discussion about data being saved that is not necessarily. Um, this would allow us to basically go into ticket sale if we give them a go in tomorrow. Question there would be basically of how do we handle the domain name so we can have uh, tickets.char2017.org and not tickets.cccv.org. But uh, that is basically about the only question. If nobody disagrees, sorry. Yes, uh, that. Yes, uh, that is that is uh, correct. And uh, if the CCC will do that, they have already sent me the data processing agreement. They would uh, sign for us. They have, uh, which I don't plan to actually make my own. Okay, but yeah. Um, I'll send it to our lawyer. I think that uh, will work. Hopefully, work with everybody. Um, in general, that would allow us uh, to have a working ticket system from the point of selling the tickets over the cash entrances in the desk if we have day tickets, uh, over to a working checking system, Android applications that uh, volunteers at the entrance just can change that everything really quick. Um, and as we don't have any volunteers so far that tried eagerly to sign up for team tickets and wanted to form one, um, I tend to go with this option. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. A question? Well, the problem is we want to hand the question. The question: What? It sounds risky that everything is coming from this organization. This might be the case, but if we actually want to sell tickets, there is a lot of bureaucracy involved in there, especially processing the credit cards. As we have exactly zero people so far who signed up for that and are actually willing to handle that and know what they would be getting themselves into. Um, I actually do see a problem because I also would see a problem in setting up a team with zero people. Um, that makes selling tickets a lot harder than anyway. Um, I uh, do trust them in there, but if we actually want to get our butt against the wall by the time of the year, I would like to have people in that team that have experience with handling credit card data because that has a lot of legal implications that are not easy. Okay. Oh, the owner of the bank account is a thing that is very easy to change. Like that can be like that the payments go directly on the um, on the uh, IFCAT bank account. That would be very, very easy to change. Um, we would just need to give the ticket software access to the bank account so it can automatically find out which tickets are paid. This is an automated process uh, because if you sell several thousand tickets through this over a short period of time, you do not want to have somebody who has to type in all of the token codes there.
I usually the tickets. Um, the question is uh, if we can hook into the ticket system, for example, with the volunteers. Um, as it's bank stuff, I like if it's our stuff or CCC stuff. I would expect that the answer is no, in both ways. Like even if we run it by ourselves, uh, it, that is PC. I like for credit card related stuff. That is actually stuff that we can't just quickly give access to somebody that actually does have some major legal consequences. So with that, you can't just make something of real quick, quickly write a connector and connect to that. Um, that is actually bank processing, credit card processing, not so easy. Um, the question was the question was to connect everybody who buys a ticket to hook it directly into the angel system. As far to my knowledge, if you buy a ticket to CCC, you do not have an account. Okay, I want to. There is no account involved in there. I want to stop this discussion now, please. Um, we need to figure out the legal consequences of outsourcing this uh, and the practical consequences. And uh, the questions are clear. We will uh, look into that. Thank you very much. Uh, the next team on the list would be Team Villages. Uh, hello. Um, team Villages is still in fairly slow mode. We could use one or two very motivated people uh, who are like, eat, well, not particularly experienced, but like take initiative and do stuff. Um, outside of that, yeah, we're waiting for the wiki, the new wiki to come up, and then we can start questionnaires and collecting villages. So, any questions? Oh, good. And the last team on the list would be Team of Volunteers. Last but not least, I hope. Um, volunteers, we are uh, with Stein and Ralph, who, Ralph who could not make it here, unfortunately. Uh, we realize we're a very important team because we need to make sure that there are volunteers and if there are no volunteers, there's no event. So, um, And if we want to keep volunteers uh, happy, we need food. Um, so uh, food has now our main priority right now. Um, we are in contact with the Mecklenburger, who did CCC food already. Um, also with the EMF food uh, people, um, because they made pretty awesome food. Um, next to the food, we also need a location, so uh, at heaven as we call it. Uh, by the way, if anybody has strong objections against that term, plus a really good suggestion for a new one, we would like to hear it, but otherwise we stick with heaven. Um, and the location that we have picked for heaven was uh, not a very nice one, uh, as pointed out by somebody in the sanity meeting. Uh, so we will put it in a place where we can actually uh, supply the kitchen with food and those kind of things, which is important. Um, the budget, uh, we are also working on that. Um, it might be an interesting budget of 100k plus because food costs a lot of money. Um, and that's pretty much it from us. Oh, and the Angel, Angel system have, is running and in testing mode. Please. Safety and security. Okay. okay, so this is an update for safety and security for the first aid and uh, it says volunteers are important, hooray. And uh, we want to avoid buying in as many services as possible. So keeping this work inside the event community. So if you know someone with first aid skills or a doctor, please contact the team and the information is on Wiki. And there's a meeting with municipality coming up soon. Thank you so much. You can ask me a question. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, so there are a lot of people, I guess, who their uh, uh, first aid license did get expired. For instance, for me, I did it for 12 years. Yeah, so we need a valid one. Um, is there a, a budget for the first aid licenses? And I don't know much about first aid, but I understand the longer one is needed, like the be not the basic first aid license. And I think it's as much as I've heard this is conceded, and there might be some budget, but that's all I know. Please ask the person involved. 
Yes, yes, that's the point of keeping it inside the event, if possible. Yes. So um, this is where the Safe Harbor Authority might help because we are organizing trainings um, for our volunteers anyhow um, on first aid and rescue and search and rescue. So um, that might help for people who have an expired license. You know, we should talk about that, how you can join that. Okay, that was the end of the list of teams on the wiki. Uh, does anybody feel left out? <laughs> Any updates we missed? No? Okay, um, then uh, we will continue the rest of the program with the ethics and government discussion. Before that, I would like to say something about the lightning talks which are scheduled after that. Uh, we did not keep a uh, complete list of all the lightning talks that are that people have planned. So if you want to do a lightning talk, please talk to me uh, in person or drop me something on IRC. Then I'll write it down and uh, make a short planning. Uh, and please do that before the start of it. So that will be before 1615. Um, we do a short break uh, of 15 minutes. Uh, in which you can uh, go to the bar or something. Uh, uh, a toilet is also a good thing. See you in 15 minutes.